Spotify Friends Black Ops 6 is available to pre-order, but which version is the best, and is the Vault Edition really worth the extra money if you want the latest Call of Duty? Well, normally I'd say no, the Vault Edition's probably not worth it, but hear me out in this video because there might be some scenarios where actually the $30 might be worth it. First up, the good news for Xbox and PC Game Pass Ultimate members is that the standard Black Ops 6 game is included at no extra charge. So now you know this, it then comes down to what extra value the Vault Edition will bring you. And we can also talk about how much extra it's going to cost to get the Vault Edition. So let's start with that cost element. It's going to set you back $30 if you have a Game Pass membership. If you want a Game Pass member and you want the Vault Edition, for example you're on PlayStation, it's going to cost you $99.99. .99. So essentially you've got $30 if you're a Game Pass member versus $99.99, which sounds like a big savings. However, if we're being honest, the regular game is actually worth about $69.99, but ultimately if you pay that price, then it means actually that $30 you're paying on Xbox and PC is kind of the equivalent additional value that you're paying on top of the base game if you're on another console that doesn't have Game Pass. Let's look at what extra items the Vault Edition gives you and whether it actually adds up to that extra cost. Now it's worth noting, the standard game on any platform if you pre-order comes with the early access to the beta and the Woods Operator Pack. So those ones you don't have to worry about. Whether you get the Vault Edition or the standard, you get those anyway. However, the Vault Edition does give you a number of bonuses on top of this. The first of those bonuses are the Hunter vs Operators Pack. This is a set of four operators from the Black Ops and Zombies universes that you'll get to own and use as operator skins. In addition to these operator skins, you also get a Mastercraft weapons collection. This will give you the Plague Doctor blueprint for the Ames 85 assault rifle, the Mind's Eye blueprint for the combat knife, the Scrooge blueprint for the Jackal PDW submachine gun, the Brainstorm blueprint for the LR 7.62 sniper rifle, and finally, the unprecedented blueprint for the Marine SP shotgun. These all come with attachments and some very cool animated designs, and you can see here it essentially means you basically get a blueprint for each category of weapon. In addition to all of this, you also get something for zombies in the form of the Gobble Gum Pack. This will give you 12 single use gobble guns which you can use in game. We will do a video on the gobble gum system when the game drops, but basically these are power ups that you'll be able to use through Black Ops 6 zombies. And if you played Black Ops 3 then you'll be very familiar with them. That's not it though. There is one more thing you get, and this one is probably the most valuable thing. This is the Black Cell Pass for the Battle Pass in Season 1. This will give you full access to the Battle Pass in Season 1, plus a bunch of additional rewards that come through the Black Cell part of the Battle Pass, as long as you unlock them of course. And that includes the chance to win cosmetics, as well as earning 1100 COD points. And that's pretty much everything you get with the Vault Edition. It's worth noting that the monetary value of all of this stuff does exceed $30. And just for context, that Black Cell Battle Pass Edition on its own normally costs $29.99. So that alone, if you normally buy that, means the Vault Editions are already instantly worth you getting. However, the overall decision on whether you get the Vault Edition really just comes down to can you afford it? And also, are you going to play the game enough? For the first time, I actually think it is worth it if you can afford it and you think you're going to play the game enough. And I'm actually going to get it myself for the first time, mainly because I've got the Game Pass and I feel like the $30 on top of the Game Pass subscription that I normally pay anyway is definitely worth it to get all of these valuable extras. Hopefully this helps you make the decision or at the very least it lets you know what you're going to get with the Vault Edition if you're not sure. Don't forget to like and subscribe, we've got loads more Black Ops 6 videos coming your way, but for now, thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.